welcome to another episode of missionary stories we are telling their stories of great awesome men and women men and women of african descent who are making a difference in the world uh, but today what we are doing is not telling the story today is for you a parent a grandparent an aunt an uncle you're raising a child what we are going to share today is how can you help your kids to be missions minded uh, don't leave you have to watch this to the end because I think it's gonna be so transformational for you and your family and please if you've not like if you've not subscribed to this channel uh, do so like the subscribe and then let's jump in how can you help your kids how can you raise your kids to become missions minded individuals number one is share with the missionary stories uh, you could buy that there, there are just some very good books of missionary stories uh, Y warm has like a whole library of that uh, if you check I'm going to put the link below of a site on of Y warm where they have all the stories of Christian heroes now and then and they are just amazing little books that are good for kids and they tell the stories of just incredible men and women who have served God and made an impact in their generation. Secondly, what how can you what can you do to help your kids to be missions minded? The next is for you to adopt a missionary. Uh, your family can adopt a missionary. Uh, and you might like what I don't even know where missionaries are. I don't have a relationship with any missionary I would just say scroll through my channel uh, just look through there you're going to see several missionaries and you're going to see their information and if you're wondering who to adopt you can adopt any of them you can send them an email uh, all of them have their information so oh. In, in the in the under their videos in the description boxes send them an email uh, write to them pray for them support them i'm gonna put some finances to them but adopt a missionary you don't want to don't don't try to start with 10 just start with one let your family adopt a missionary and let your kids know that this is our missionary that our family is praying for our family is supporting our family this is our family is giving to i believe if every christian family adopted just one missionary we are going to do such an incredible job and advance the kingdom in a way that is outstanding so with your family with your kids adopt a missionary when you come when it's dinner time and you're praying remember to pray for that family when you're praying together anytime you're praying together as a family have them there you can print their photo uh from online from their description and put it on your refrigerator so that every time a family member passes by they see that missionary and they remember them and they can pray for them intentionally so please adopt a missionary that is going to make such a difference the second the third thing that we can do to be able to become missions minded is to intentionally pray for nations and i know you're like i don't even know where to start with that uh there are just some good resources i'm a prayer guides that could help you i'm also going to put the link of, of several that are going to be helpful uh, for you and your children one of the good things about prayer guides is that uh, about i'm um, praying for nations i'm using a prayer guide is that most of those prayer guides like have informations about unreached people groups they have information about um, nations that are that are that need uh, the gospel and about just the realities of what those um, uh, maybe villages or people groups need and it's going to be very informational for your children as they read that and as they learn about those people group and as you pray together so at, in, with one hand you will be educating your kids but the other hand you'll be praying together for a community for a nation don't try to pray for 10 just or if you, if you have a prayer guide that some of them are just so easy you just have each day just something simple or once a week something simple don't do it in a way that is overwhelming and you're like oh wow then you get tired and it becomes burdensome let it be something that becomes a means of grace that your entire family can love doing uh, together okay number four invite a traveling missionary to your house uh, most often there are missionaries who live uh, their home where they are serving and they go back to their home country and I don't think there will be any nation where you would have a missionary except in nations that are like close to the gospel and and so you have just those few nations but in almost every other place 
there will be a missionary that is returning invite them to your home let them sit at your table let be uh show them uh, your act of hospitality and kindness why is this so important this is important because there is so much that happens around the table when this missionary sit with your kids around the table and they hear the stories of what they are doing of how they're impacting the lives and about the needs of the people that they are serving there are times it's the impact of that is stronger than just the stories that they are reading it's almost like they're able to put a face to the stories and the read they're able to have there's, a, there's something that connects so next time when they are praying for a missionary they have someone that they know that they have, they have had a meal together with and that's incredibly transformational um, for, for kids. I, I remember growing up, one of the things that my mom used to do, She, I, I'm just grateful for her hospitality. I didn't like it as a kid though, just confession. <laughs> uh, but she was so, almost every minister that came to minister at our church lived at our house. We didn't have a lot. Those who knew us, no, we didn't have a lot, but she was very hospitable. You were going to either have a meal or you were going to stay at her home. And that was so significant for us. Initially, that was negative for me because I, I didn't see many of the missionaries or the pastors as wealthy people. And so I didn't want to become a pastor. I didn't want to serve the Lord. I want, well, I wanted to serve the Lord differently. I wanted to go work, get a lot of money and make it easy for all those who are doing the work. But somehow God called me into it. And, but I think whatever, even if your child doesn't end up becoming a missionary and they go out uh, to serve in the business world or to be, they can become provisionaries because their hearts have been touched. They know people who are serving and they become intentionally generous in advancing God's kingdom. So either way, it's going to be for the good of your children. So open your table, open your house up uh, for for missionaries, for ministers of the gospel, for those who are serving in other places to just sit and listen and, and receive from them. And I'm going to just give this warning. There are times when people open their homes up to receive missionary, but there is an attitude with which they do it almost like I'm superior and better than you. I have all these things and you don't have. It is actually a privilege for you to host a missionary or minister of the gospel. What they are doing is they choose to say yes to God and let go everything. So it's not as if they might not be able to have, they, they, they can't have what you have. But the fact that in their obedience to God, they were willing to sacrifice lots of the natural things that you might own that they don't have doesn't make them lesser. So you have to treat them with respect. You have to, even if they don't have maybe the kind of, they don't drive the kind of car that you drive in the, ho in the country where they are serving. Treat them with respect, honor them uh, for the ministry that God has called them to do. So, uh, because see, the way you treat them is going to determine how your kids are going to treat them. The way you embrace them will determine how your kids are going to embrace them. So I wanted to just add that side note to it. The next thing that, I, that is going to be so significant as you, uh, for you as you try to be able to just train your kids to be missions minded as they grow is instilling them a heart of generosity i know i talked a little about that but i'm going to just um, uh, add a little further instill a heart of generosity and how can you do that i would say um many many kids have piggy banks so what if instead of them having piggy banks to to buy a new toy or uh, to to get something fun for themselves what if they decided every year they had a piggy bank for missions and it might not be for the missionary themselves. It might be for a missionary kid. Because uh, that might be even easier, something easy for them to connect with. They might say, okay, since my parents are able to have all these resources, they can afford these toys for me. I'm going to, I'm, uh, I'm going to make a, a piggy bank. And every day I'm going to put my loose change in it. And at the end of the year, I'm going to send it to that missionary kid so they can have something for themselves. Instill them a sense of generosity. I remember uh, I got the privilege of living with my mentor for some time. And one of the things that I saw them do that was just incredible, that so impacted me was uh, she would have like uh, a space and she would have like, every time she would just put some clothes. It's like she enters into her wardrobe and just 
remove not like they are not like clothes that you would not wear they are clothes that if you take to a shop they, they will still be really expensive those things that you've worn once or twice and you just sense that well this is for somebody else and you fold it together neatly and put them in a suitcase and i remember every time missionaries would come she would just be a blessing to them and it, it was just amazing it was amazing to see and to observe that oh when they were going to a place where missionaries went she would take all of that but not only did she do that i saw her daughter start doing the same thing and that's incredible and so that's something you can do instead of using the things that you have until they are worn out and not usable again how can you start instilling generosity in your kids where they are intentionally thinking all the time oh there is this thing that i have that i don't need to i can give this one and, and you, you know, in, in our culture, for those of us who are in the U.S. particularly, is we have this materialistic culture. And I don't think it's bad to have things. It's, it's good. It's a blessing. But how can we intentionally just use what we, we need and just be, know how to intentionally get rid of the excesses? So if you're going to buy your child a new toy, you bought, you bought them this this year. If you're going to get another one, then the, the other one that they had should go to a missionary so intentionally instilling that in them you'll be imagine not only are you changing your child but you're changing an entire culture culture you're shaping the face of things and so let's let's do that uh, the next thing i would say is uh, I imagine you're in a local church if you are not i encourage you to be part of a local church because that is so important and, and many local churches have missions uh that they do in their community so get involved with that with your kids if it's there, there are times when churches go to serve the homeless they go they have food pantries they have just different things let your kids go and serve let them go and serve don't just let your kids do all these other nice amazing things teach them to start intentionally serving others in whether it's in the food pantry whether it's packing care packages whether it's putting together flood buckets, whether it's going out for evangelism and praying for people in the community, intentionally start teaching your children. You are your kid's best pastor. You are their number one pastor, let me say that. You are their number one priest. So intentionally uh, make sure that you are doing all you can to instill a missions mindset to them. And at uh, the last point, there's much more, but I'm going to end with this is go with them on a mission trip or send them on a mission trip. I love vacations and I think vacations are important. I take, I take them. Uh, but there is nothing that would change that is as impactful as a mission trip. I, I would say camps and mission trips, the most often camps is just for the kids to have encounters with God. So one, two things that I think every teenager should do or every child should do as they grow up before they become adults. Number one is to go to a youth camp and number two, is go to a mission trip so send your kids for a short-term mission trip let them have the experience of serving out of their comfort zone of living in an environment that is different and just seeing how life is it takes them out of the box it gives them a world view that is different it changes their mindset about life uh, there are so many people who have been changed just by one experience one you don't need 20 just one experience can make a difference of a lifetime uh, and so, and I would say it's best not just to send them, if it's possible for you to go with them, that is generally the best option. Because when a parent goes with a kid on a mission trip, uh, you have so much conversations. You're able to process the things together. You're able to talk about the experiences the child is having and, and how that relates to their day-to-day -day life. And uh, so I would really want to encourage that. <laughs> And, and why, why is it important for your children to have a missions mindset? Why is this important? Uh, I believe it's so important because the Bible says train up a child in the way they should go. And when they are old, they will not depart from it. So whatever you intentionally instill in them, you might think that they don't understand, but I'm telling you that you are putting an investment that will mark their life forever. When you start getting them to be missions minded, they become a lot more purpose oriented and purpose influenced. I don't know if that's a good English purpose influence. Well, it's like they live each day with a purpose in mind. They live with each day. With, they have a bigger picture for life. They have an eternal picture for life. 
And that shapes everything about them. It shapes how they relate with people. It shapes, it shapes how they make decisions for their future because they have eternity as a mindset. So uh, my prayer is that this blesses you and that you might have been wondering, oh God, how, what, what do I do? Summer is coming. We are already in summer and, uh, well, we are just entering spring and a few, few more weeks. We are going to be transitioning to summer and many people are going for vacations. Many people are taking trips. Uh, why not try a mission trip this year with your kids? Why not try? You don't need to go to something extravagant. If you, you didn't plan to travel out, this you might decide to just surf in your community for a week with your children. I'm telling you that it will change them much more than you can imagine. There might be some things you've been struggling about and talking to them about and it looks like it's not going through. Uh, that might be something you do. So I want to pray for you, um, our parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles that are raising kids, that God will give you wisdom, that he will fill you with the anointing, that he will fill you with his spirit as you raise those children, that it will grow to know the Lord, to serve the Lord, to fulfill his plans and his purposes for their lives, that your children will be uh, so in love with Jesus, with his word, and that it would make a difference in their world. And as you, as you intentionally take these steps to instill God's word in them and tell them the stories of this missionary that God himself will take over and he will do the rest. So God bless you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe uh, to this video. And have an incredible day. Bye-bye.